What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. It is time to reveal some SDCC stuff that we saw today from Ringside and Mattel of the new WWE figures that are coming out guys and my god did they deliver. They got so much good stuff coming out guys. Let's just go ahead and get straight into it and not waste any time. So the first figure that we have guys is Alistair Black. As you know in that video about a week ago I said that I thought we got an official one, but no, it turned out to be a custom. This one is official. It is confirmed that we are going to be getting an Alistair Black, and it, it looks freaking incredible, guys. My God. We get the entrance coat. All the tattoos look great. The face scan looks amazing. They totally nailed the likeness. I am so excited for this. I cannot believe we are actually are getting an Alistair Black, so we'll finally be able to use them in pick feds and pose them around and stuff. That is going to be beautiful, guys. Cannot wait for Alistair Black. So that is our first Elite we got, but we have plenty of more to show you guys. Next up, we have Adam Cole, baby, and this is freaking amazing, guys. In this you know, in our video last night, we said that we were beginning an Epic Moments Undisputed Era 3-pack, and it looks like they are confirmed, guys. We have got them. We have Adam Cole right here, the leader, looking beautiful. We are going to get three Undisputed Era t-shirts with these guys, and I think that Adam Cole head scan is freaking... They nailed that thing. It looks just like him. If anything, maybe give him some darker hair and beard, but that's not even a thing, guys. That's literally nothing. This figure looks incredible. I cannot... The NXT elites for this year's reveals are freaking perfect i think this is the most hyped i've been for figures in a long time like these look incredible guys and that's just adam cole we do have the other two members of the undisputed era here we have the other member, Bobby Fish, and I love this attire they chose for these guys. I think that the t-shirts are incredible. Again, head scan nailed it. I think that Mattel is finally starting to get the hang of the head scans, guys. They're really starting to nail it on the sculpting and everything, and I think this Bobby Fish looks incredible. Not as good as Adam Cole, guys, but it is up there. It looks um, freaking amazing. And, of course, we have our third member. We have Kyle O'Reilly, and just again, guys, this, this Undisputed Era 3-pack is freaking phenomenal. I think that they absolutely nailed it. Definitely one of the most hyped things I'm excited for coming out of San Diego Comic-Con. And with Alistair Black, Adam Cole, the Undisputed Era, I mean, that's just, we're just getting started here, guys. We have plenty more figures to show you guys, but my God, what a start we have. Next up, guys, we do have a Drew McIntyre Elite. I like everything about this figure except for the head scan. It's like the head scan looks like Drew McIntyre, but it looks too much like that Bobby Roode basic head scan we got a while back. I don't know. I, I do like the figure, though. I think the torso may be a bit too big, but I guess we'll see when I get it in hand. But I am hyped for this figure. I cannot wait to pick it up, see what it looks like. I believe this is the same attire as my custom that I have from BEW. But I could be wrong, but this thing looks great. I am I am ready to get this thing in hand again and see what it feels like and everything in the hand. It looks massive like Drew McIntyre is, so this will be great. I believe all these figures that we've seen so far, uh, Alistair and Drew are both NXT elites, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong, though. I believe those are NXT elites. And then, of course, the Undisputed Era 3-pack is Epic Moments. But Drew looking okay here. Not perfect, but uh, maybe they'll change a few things before it's released. Up next, we do have Elite 62, Authors of Pain, with the brand new Tag Team NXT Championships. Obviously, they're not brand new because we've had them for a while now, but they are brand new in this line. We are finally getting a pair of the new ones. We do have Akeem and Razor looking fantastic. I love the parts they use. The head scans look amazing. I love the gear they're in. They come with the you know the covers for their, ma their little face mask covers or whatever you want to call them. Uh, these look fantastic. These are easy figure of the year candidates along with you know Adam Cole and Aleister Black and everything these are great figures guys they look incredible all of the NXT figures man they're just knocking them out this is obviously a part of the regular elite line but they're still NXT product so this is this is great stuff man I am loving every single bit of what we're seeing so far the, the authors of pain and the rest we've seen it's just freaking exciting stuff man next up ladies and gentlemen we have more NXT guys we got Killian Dane and CN Almas both looking great I know we got a basic CN but this elite looks way better guys in the white attire my favorite attire that he wears he literally just wore this attire on Smackdown Live this week so it's going to be current and updated anyways Killian Dane looking great I would have loved to seen more members of Sanity here today but this is still incredible stuff guys 
Killian Dane and Cian Almas. First time in the line for Killian Dane. Cannot wait to add both of these guys to the roster. I still have my Cian Almas, but I would love an updated head scan, which looks incredible. He's coming with the NXT Championship, which we've obviously seen before, but this is still really good stuff. Here we go, guys. Now we have some images of some upcoming Elite 61 Elites. We got the Fashion Police Brazango right here in their t-shirts and blue pants. Of course, we had prototype leaked images of Fandango coming in, but Tyler Breeze does look great. I love that they gave him the pink fur, pink wristbands, and everything. It kind of looks like a new head scan for Tyler Breeze, so we can get away from that kissy face one. Still looks like he's puckering up a little bit, but this is way better, guys. We got two police hats, two sets of glasses. Really cool set to update our fashion police. Fandango is out with injury, though, so by the time he returns, they'll probably be in something totally different, but it doesn't really matter. I am happy to pick these guys up and, you know, have a collective tag team uh, set of the fashion police. Next up, we have some more images of Elite 61, guys. We got Kevin Owens and the phenomenal AJ Styles. Looking great, guys, in the USA attire for AJ Styles, it looks like. You know, we don't have a good shot of the side of the um, attire there, but I can confirm it is the USA, you know, the United States Championship attire that he wore. And, of course, Kevin Owens, that is his uh, 2017 attire with the red KO. Very similar to his Elite 53 Elite, so I don't really like that they went with that attire. I would have preferred the Face of America but uh, he does have the shorter hair because his hair was shorter at that time, I do believe. So uh, that is the reasoning behind that head scan looking so odd. But it is very nice to see. We're going to get another AJ looking great. I, I like that attire, so that is great. And then, of course, I'm always open to Kevin Owens. I'll get it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But uh, good looking stuff. Next, we have some Elite 62 images, guys. We got Roman Reigns, the big dog, and Braun Strowman. With Roman Reigns, it's literally no other difference uh, between the other Roman Reigns that we've gotten. He has gold gauntlets on, so I'm guessing we'll get that gold and black vest that he uh, has even worn recently. And then we have the White Intercontinental Championship coming with it. And then, of course, we have Braun Strowman. This is literally the Elite 52 figure with different boots, guys. So that's kind of disappointing. They should have gave us a new head scan or some sort of differential. Maybe even like a lighter khaki pant color that he wore or maybe green pants or something. The boots do look fresh, though. I'm not going to lie, but I don't know. Not enough differences, in my opinion. Maybe we'll have a new head scan or something change before this releases. Next up, we have two really nice elite figures, guys. We got Matt Hardy with his ECW Championship, our first time in the line for that belt right there. I think everybody has literally had this figure on their want list for so many years now, and it's so great to see them pumping out Matt Hardy's like it ain't nothing. I'm sure that those uh, upper arm pieces and bottom part right there is going to be elbow pads. I'm pretty sure they just didn't have time to throw some on there, so they just printed them out in black. But we got Hideo Atami over here with his entrance gear looking great. I don't have a Hideo Atami Elite. I don't even have a custom. So I, I'm very excited. I feel like Hideo is way overdue. But um, these two figures look great. It's a definite pickup for me for both of these guys. And we are going to get that same head scan, I'm sure. It would have been cool to see a new Matt head. But I will take the older one for sure. Good looking pair of Elites right here. Two more good-looking elites right here, guys. We have Roderick Strong and Titus World Slide himself, Titus O'Neil. Finally getting himself an elite figure. Both of these look great again. Roderick's head scan is perfect. I think we've seen that Titus O'Neil head scan before, but both of these guys look incredible, guys. Again, they are just nailing it with the head scans. The head scans are on point. I don't think I saw a terrible head scan uh, today, maybe besides Drew. But this is just Jesus, man. They are pumping these guys out. And you could even get two of the Roddies, two of the Roderick Strongs, customize one to the Undisputed Era, and then throw it in your three-pack, and bam, there you go. But uh, so happy to see that Titus O'Neil is finally getting an elite. Very overdue, but uh, these two look incredible. Next up, we have three more elites, guys, and all three of them are D Generation X. We have Billy Gunn, Triple H, and Road Dog. All of these look great. I cannot wait to pick up this Billy Gunn, guys. My favorite Billy Gunn attire in the pink. Great head scan. Got the DX shirt on. Triple H in his jeans. DX shirt and leather jacket looking great. And I believe that is a cloth leather jacket on that Triple H. So, you know, for your Ronda Rouseys, your Dean Ambroses, your Finn Balors, you can throw that jacket on there. That's other things to look for. Not just the figures themselves, but the accessories. Another part is Road Dog. Look at him, guys. 
That is the perfect base for a Pentagon Jr. Look at the torso and the uh, the upper legs, the legs and the kick pads, guys. That is a perfect formula for Pentagon. All you gotta do is switch out those shoulders and arms and head scan and bam, Pentagon Jr. But these th things look amazing. I love the way they did uh, Road Dogg's hair. Looks great. They nailed that. Got the DX visor on there. This is a great looking set. These are sold separately, however. They're not a three pack or anything like that. I do believe that they are in some other line down the line. Maybe even uh, Attitude Era Elites or something like that. But these look great. Next up, guys, we have three flashback elites right here. We have Sting in his white, lime green, green, and black attire looking beautiful. We have Dude Love in the middle and the Ultimate Warrior on the right. I love the head scan of the Ultimate Warrior on the right. Not a huge fan of the Ultimate Warrior, but that attire is so freaking sick. Dude Love, I mean, it's self-explainable, guys. Definitely got to get Dude Love. And that Sting figure right there could be perfect for doing white attire custom. So I'm definitely open to picking up that figure for sure. I'm a big Sting fan. And I like this attire, but uh, I'm thinking about all the things you can do with these things. Again, don't just look at the figure, but look at the molds. Look at the different parts you can use for other things outside of just the figure itself. So this is a good-looking pair of th or pair of three. This is a good-looking trio right here. Next up, we have some women's figures, guys. Look at these three right here. On the left, we have an Elite Natalia with her T-shirt. That will be an Elite because it comes with a T-shirt. We have a Bailey figure prototype with the head scan right there. Looking good. Finally changed her head scan. And then on the right, holy poop a moly, guys. Ruby freaking Riot Elite. May my mo mum, guys. That looks incredible. I am loving the Ruby Riot. They are knocking it out. I think they nailed the head scan. The attire looks great. They, I can't believe we're getting a Ruby Riot this soon, but I am very excited that we are getting one, guys. Actually, a women's figure that I'm excited for. Hopefully, the articulation isn't trash, but I think they nailed that Ruby Riot to death. And so, this is our three good women's figures from today. Next up, we do have some basics, guys. We have a basic Miz, which looks absolutely horrendous. The head scan looks awful. We got a basic Kurt Angle with the same head scan, so that is pretty disappointing. I would hope they would give us a new head scan, but uh, the attire is cool. I wish it was an Elite. And then this Randy Orton over here, guys. Look at that head scan. My God, if they paint that thing up accurately and not do that face scan press technology, they could nail this, that likeness to him around WrestleMania 33. That looks incredible. Like, I am loving the crap out of that head scan. We get that. I'm going to be buying the piss out of that for sure. But uh, these are some other basic. I think we saw another prototype image right here of a Kofi Kingston basic with, like, newly sculpted hair over the top of his head. So that is really cool. I guess they're not done with that one just yet. But these are some pretty cool basics. But that Randy Orton is probably my favorite, guys. That, that Randy Orton is effing beautiful. And here's the last thing I have for you guys today. We have a Paul Bearer Elite right here with the WWE Championship and the Urn. We have seen him before, so not that big of a thing. But I believe this is a Build-A-Figure, if I'm not mistaken. I cannot remember if this is the Build-A-Figure, if that's for it. No, this isn't the Build-A-Figure. This is a different Elite in a different line. But this is the last figure I have for you guys today, I'm pretty sure. If Ringside or Mattel or anybody releases any more images from San Diego Comic-Con, I will be putting them up here on the channel for you guys, so definitely check Check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment down below your most hype figure that you're looking forward to. I am so excited for all these reveals, guys. It is looking great. I cannot wait to pick up all of this stuff. But see you guys in the next video. Thank you.